I'm Captain Duck and this is Dwarf Fortress. Uh, it's time to continue with our Fortress of Hammer Praised, which we started two weeks ago. This will be stream three of that. And uh, yeah, this is also the first day we're streaming on what now will be Dwarf Fort Tuesdays, I guess. Uh, we did the poll last week and uh, st I stopped out yesterday night. And uh, Tuesdays won, so there we go. Um, as, yeah, as of now I'll try to do a, a Dwarf Fort stream every Tuesday. So, uh, well we got a little bit of standardization in that. So, uh, yeah, look forward to the, more of that in the future. Also, there might be like a release soon. I think I read, might have been email. Uh, like, Tony was working on things and he... At the start of the month he had 200 things to go, now he had like 82 things to go. So, uh, what's that here? I don't know. No. Um. January 7? <laughs> Wait. Uh. Development? No. Yeah. Just a normal main site. Where's the standard update? Is that. That is this. Oh, uh, this is just the latest release. Wait a minute. <laughs> no. Um. But I swear I read that somewhere, must, it, it must have been an email, maybe because I support the uh, Dwarf Fortress Patreon itself. Uh, even, uh, yeah, the Dwarf Fortress guys have a Patreon. I also have one, by the way. <laughs> Great segue, huh? Uh, we're up to 260 a month, uh, hey, we're at least we're stop dropping. So, um, yeah, please, I would really like any support on the Patreon you might be able to give. Um, but then, out of the way, let's start. Um, things seem to be running fine. Um, uh, maybe, maybe it was that. I, I think it was actually a, a Patreon mail, so I don't think I know can show that, but the release might be getting close. It was at like 200 out of something issues. It was at 82 issues now, so maybe in a month, maybe two. Maybe some issues take a long, long time, I don't know. So, uh, it'll come, probably. Anyway, continue playing. Let's do a tour of the fortress. Uh, um, my computer's making a lot less sound, so the fan probably died again. Uh, last time we had a lot of problems because my CPU was running rather hot. It's still... it's not now, but it will probably will do later. Um, Fan speed is not as high as it's really supposed to be. It's the fan is like dying. I, I need a new one. Uh, gonna have to wait until the three Patreon box come in though before I can get one. That's uh, yeah, like the first week of the month, so that will take a while. So let's not start up with our mock vision today, <laughs> since that take, seems to take a lot. Um, Alright, let's keep that in the background. Instead, uh, let's just give you a good old tour in a normal fashion way. Also, I need to resize um, the extreme. We should save that. This is how we did it, I think. Uh, zoom out a tad more here. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> That's that's a thirty. He just releases when he's ready, and that might be whenever. <laughs> uh, so yeah, where were we up here? Yeah, we were making a bridge, and the Gobos came. We had siege at the end of last year, and yeah, we're trying to get back to that. Um, still some suspended stuffs here. There's actually some blood around. Yay! Probably gobble blood. Um, no. Oh. Oh well. Should be some gobble pot around, like here maybe? No. Yay! A spattering of goblin blood. Yay! <laughs> um so yeah, for today we're gonna to have to continue that. We're should up our military some more, put in some more traps. Oh uh, these traps are even cancelled. Uh, no, good. Um the upstairs here, maybe create the outer outer mode some more as well. And there's lots of stuff to do. There's also this place. But there's still so much stuff in here. 
I bought a lot of stuff from them, I guess it haven't been moved in yet. Do I like, hmm, have a good cloth be, uh, bin? I guess not. Um, I guess we should make a cloth level. Yeah, this stockpile is full. Uh, I'll need some other ones. Uh, well, let's do that later. Let's <laughs> let's actually do the tour. Um, <clears throat> so, top level here. We go down a level. That's where we have our farms. There's a bags and boxes stockpile. Can you see, I see the mouse. Yeah, you can. Uh, block stockpile. This is our pen for the animals. Uh, looks like the farm is nice and full. Um, our food stockpiles, we need, probably need to do more with that. Um, how are we doing here? Stills are not running. I think we have enough food though. We look down here and, and drink. The like, living level. Um, yeah, lots uh, lots of dwarven and wine. Uh, lots and lots of prepared food. That's fine. Uh, also, engraving is happening. Looks like most of the stuff actually has been engraved. Let's take a look at an engraving or two. There's an engraving of exceptionally designed I will cut gems. Can you guys read that? Uh, I think you are. I maximize the screen. <laughs> um, this kind of small only font is rather weird like this. Hmm. Make the font maybe a tad bigger. Kind of messes with the overlay. Uh, I could change that. It's probably for the best. Um, yeah, let's see. I can just change the CLR browser a little bit. Um, let's say the width is 250. The height is 3. Needs to be that smaller, plus 350. Uh, it has to reset. Can it be a tad wider this, this way? Uh, 275. Come on, game. <laughs> OBS is snapping it to the side. Oh, that should work. Okay. This is probably uh, better readable for everyone. So we'll keep it this way. I still not write masterwork. Like if someone asked that every week, I don't really intend to either. Lorefort is complicated enough on its own. <laughs> Um, and yeah, Tuesdays is the Dwarf Fortress Day now. Uh, the poll actually won on Tuesdays. So yeah. Okay. Um, so we're worried. <laughs> Let's take a look at some en engravings. Now I should be able to read it a little bit better. Oh wow. There's a massively denied side image of Dunham Sim, one of our named dwarves. Battle Rasp, a dwarf, and an obsidian outlet by Logan Subsonupsum. So the obsidian is raising the obsidian amulet. The artwork relates to the masterful obsidian amulet created by the dwarf Dunham Sin in the early winter of 125. Another one. Engraved image of Ngozum Zeal Maline, the goblin, and Boyle United, the giant tiger, <laughs> by Logum. Logum is our, our, our engraver. I should probably name him. Uh, William United striking down Gozo, the artwork relates to the killing of the goblin by the tiger. <laughs> in the jungle of violence in the year 63. Uh, another one. <laughs> Apparently that was a big thing. Uh, good gems. That's maybe actually uh, an image of a boogeyman. <laughs> boogeyman is a uh, adventure mode thing. Uh, in the meantime, let's see, is there anything in the Patreon Warp naming list going on? Anyone new? New? No. Um, so we'll just pick a person. Oh, nice. You know what? Our engraver. Look at that. 
Uh, that's him. VYN is now Mr. Urbson. <laughs> there you go. Now, if you look at these things, like around one here, Mr. Urbson uh, designed a substantial image of scepters. Wow. And so on a random one, again with the tiger. <laughs> Why are you so fixated on the tiger, <laughs> Mr. Herbson? Um, the image of uh, dwarves by Ingbeg, Elisadish, the dwarves are traveling, how it relates to the foundation of Hammer Grace by the world's Saber Saber of the arena of Sanctuaries in the early spring of 125. Another one. Um, where Anoplexion uh, became uh, the exhibition leader. Expedition leader. Exhibition leader, that's something completely different. <laughs> Um, yeah. Again, the amulet. Again, the tiger. <laughs> uh, something with Ruby Rose. Um, an image of Ruby Rose uh, by Sparrow Griffin. Ruby Rose is surrounded by the dwarves that are related to the acceptance of the dwarf as a member of the Worship Saber. And she's just a child. <laughs> so she's in there. Think big, another big image of a bogeyman. Hmm. Sounds like a theme here. Boogeyman and tigers. Is that. That's the fucking tiger again, isn't it? Yep. And. An image of smooth pebbles by Xenaris. Um, <laughs> superior designed image of Mr. Sister Fister, the dwarf. And dwarfs by Mr. Herbson. Mr. Sister Fister. <laughs> God damn. I can I pronounce it every fucking time now? Huh? Is surrounded by the dwarves. Artwork relates to the acceptance of the dwarf, Mr. Sister Fister, as Gary Syrups, as a member of the Worshipful Saber in a mid autumn of 125. <laughs> and well, that's enough of that. So, this is a different one. Uh, I hear about one dwarf becoming the chief medical dwarf. Doesn't he, chief medical dwarf, have a name? Yeah, it's not Christian. This must have been designed for that, or? I don't know. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Uh, we should also maybe do something with these two rooms on the side, which are being engraved. Um, let's see. Down here, <laughs> actually continuing with the tour, is our training spot. Um, I actually have working archery targets. Uh, there's also some training going on in the left here. You're watching an archery demonstration, you're leading it. Crossbow demonstration in here. Sure. All crossbow demonstrations, oh, that's fine. Um, down here is our indoor, indoor refuse stockpile in Butchery Place. Um, here's another single level, our novel stone crafting spot. Uh, we still have a lot of turkey stuff and bones, and I should probably clear out that some more. Uh, we're still working on that. We're still working on that. Okay. Well, that's being all done, that's fine. Um, how about the gem cutters? Uh, lots of Egra's. Any more series? CRA all the gems. Mm. Not sure about all that will fit. Uh, Woodcrafting level down here. Stockpile, which is yeah, really the full. Need to alleviate that a little bit. So, what's in this stockpile still? Uh, animals, food, furniture, coins, bar blocks, leather, cloth, and armor additional options. Um, I just need a, another furniture stockpile. Let's do that on this level. Yeah, just a furniture stockpile. Get out of the middle. Um, we did something with the furniture stock about the sword stuff. I think. Yeah, there were no bins and boxes and bags in there. Yeah. And sandbags either. So that will work for the glass forging. So let's do that. Uh, no bins, boxes and bags, and no sandbags. Um I'll keep the stockpile as it is for now. Uh, this is our leather crafting level. 
Uh, what are we doing down here? Oh yeah, Ashri, we we're making soap. There's also some gypsum. Apparently we have gypsum in the fort, so I'd love gypsum powder. Um, down here, we probably should start a cloth working level. And uh, there's some more room. And here are the forges. What are we forging? We're still smelting Kalena ores. There's still some iron ore around as well. Keep melting that. Um, and we're making lots of electrum statues, it seems. And um, clean glass terrain, yeah. Uh, down. Go down some more. And uh, there's not much more. Well, there's the. Um, oh, yeah. Noble levels. Uh, that pattern that I did wasn't that working correctly. Also, I should set them. Um, and actually set up more nobles. Let's maybe wait another migration wave before setting. I should also set up more dwarf bedrooms down here. Uh, then we can go down a lot. Ah, here is our uh, uh, mining level slash graveyard with the grave of Azigarash, our first death who died in lava. Um, and there's still lots of iron in the walls here, and we're still digging out more iron. Nice. Okay. Hey, is that more iron? Yes, it is. And priority 6 is fine. Let's do autumn mining ore gems. Dig out that shit. Okay. And that need to go down a whole lot more. Here's the caves. Cave trees and stuff. These are all cave trees or cave mushrooms if you look at them. Someone on YouTube was asking. Funny wood trunks. It's actually funny wood trees. And there's a ton of them. Uh, there's also, we go to here, our indoor well. Uh, a very small dining table. Some extra foods. Our hospital. And the room for our. Uh, Chief Medical Dwarf, not Christian. And uh, let's see the hospital information. We have beds, tables, traction, benches, box bags. We have everything. Maybe we could use a tad more soap. That's fine. That'll work. So, if there's any uh, problems with dwarves, uh, we have a running, working hospital. And they're really close to the water as well. And there's food around near them as well. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's about it for the tour. We haven't done much else yet. Um, the only encrusted items from a certain furniture stockpile. Yeah, there is actually. I don't ever use that. Maybe I should. Um, like. Um, you do this, um, you can give to the workshop, like, yeah, if you take the stockpile here, this is the high quality one, and you give that to, for example, this workshop, let's say, give that to this workshop as well, then these workshops should only take from these, this stockpile. I think that's at least the idea. <laughs> and you can do the same thing for furniture if you're making that. And I don't really bother crossing furniture. Uh, yeah, I think you can use the same idea um, for uh, doing that. Do it from the, the stockpile, give it to a workshop, and that works. Yeah, hey everyone who's just joined. Um. Okay, so a couple of things to do, especially, well, let's start with gloss, since I've been talking a lot about that. Uh, let's take an empty level here, let's DBH the place. There we go. Uh, make a cloth stockpile. That'll be big enough, and uh, let's build some cloth workshop things. Um, which were oil? Else's way. Load your shops for the most important. Uh, use some obsidian blocks. No? Ah, uh, just use schist. 
doesn't matter if you use blocks or anything in the workshop. Quality doesn't matter one bit. Um, what's also important with that uh, dyer shop if you want to die and never do that, but oh well, let's make a row of dyers. Um, looms could be handy, though. Don't want auto looms. Um, should turn that off. Mm, basically future proofing it, one shop will probably be enough, but hey, future proofing. Um, and it's not like it costs much. Uh, okay, so that option for auto loom, let's turn that off. Where was that again? Hmm. These things like O for options? Yeah. Uh, w for workshop options. Stop auto looming, no auto looming. That can be very dangerous. Um, they like auto loom all the thread we have, then the hospital won't have any looming to do. So yeah. Um, the other things use any cloth is fine. Auto collect webs can be difficult. Can be if like open the caves and you're going to collect webs there and it's not safe. That's <laughs> could be a slaughter. So let's turn that off. All the slaughter, but the butcher, fishery, and kitchen, and town are fine. Okay. Um, I need some more doors though, like a new migrant wave to do actually things with that. How are our waves doing? Um, let's pick up the dwarf therapist. Uh, put this on migration wave. And that's the latest wave was not that big. We already named some of them. You get stone detailer in there and masons and stuff. I think we need another wave of dwarves. So oh, well we have a master siege operator. Huh. Never hardly ever use those. Um no, that's fine. Let's wait until we have another wave and then we start like another um well one of you could do cloth. Um, having some extra cloth around for loads for your doors are fine. Um, hmm. Or do we have actually have one someone with a clothier skill? Uh, clothes making that is. Nope, not a single one. Okay. Anyone of you do not doing any important skill? Uh, Bertrand Tanner, let's get them do that. Your medical dwarf, how about you? You're not doing anything. You're an air clothes maker. Uh, also, do weaving and dyeing while you're there. Uh, let's name him as well to make things easier. You're now. Mm. I forget which of the people we know ain't named. Uh, there is some, of course. Um, do we have item yet? I don't know. I forget. If we do, you're fucking lucky. There we go. I don't think we had. So you're not a close maker item. There you go. Um. Okay, that's exported. Uh, he should be able to do all those jobs. Let's actually give him something to do. The other jobs are still going. Let's give some cloth orders. Cloth, um, robes, maybe ten of them. Cloth, shirt, then cloth, tunic, then cloth, dress, cloth, cloak. We should get level, give like an order of build everything of these ten of a time, and that would work. Uh, where were we? Coats, cloak, coats. Okay. Was uh, yeah, wrong way around, but it works. Mitten, like 
which is important, no, not that important, but during training and fighting, clothing can be destroyed, and if your dwarves don't have clothing, uh, they don't like that. They don't like being nude. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why you should have some replacement clothing around. Uh, ooh, bags are still very fucking important. Maybe 30 of those. Um, max priority that. Okay. There you go. Um, yeah, you're gonna be a master clothing maker. We'll, we'll take a while. <laughs> I think we gave you a dwarf Avalon, Avalon something. Um, Missed that last time. You're uh, this dwarf, which is a dresser? <laughs> Glassmaker. Yeah. Yeah, quite some stuff here. That's too big for the window. <laughs> Must have done that after you left or something uh, last time, I guess. Um. Looks like Goth is being hauled in here. Nice. And stuff is happening. And the glassmaker is important, not just a hauler. The glassmakers are making cages. Hey, and it looks like they're taking a lot of those terraria slash glass cages out of there. Um, which is good. I guess there's some room in here now. Maybe we should take furniture out of here for now. Hmm. I can take at least leath, uh, cloth out. Uh, there's others. Well, sure, just keep them. I might need just a bigger animal stockpile, though. Yeah. Because we probably have some animals. Could have more stuff in the future. Uh, you know what? Make me a big animal stockpile on this level. Good repurposes if we need it later. Uh, that's fine. Just have animals and you stop having animals. Sort that out. That'll have all the cages then. Okay. Ah, trout. Okay. Uh, and yeah, looks like we have a ton of uh, glass cages around. Oh, I didn't DB see the rocks. Uh, DBH the rocks. Fur, fine. Um, this thing's going over here. Why are you suspended again? Bridge is also suspended, it needs to be made, otherwise people can't the traders can't get any more anymore that bridge actually needs to be made. Um, okay. Should probably also have a lever, that bridge. And B build me a lever. Um do that over here I guess. Could use some more levers uh, or mechanisms. Let's queue up some more. Oh, they're still queued up. Okay. Guess we do. We have like a dedicated mechanic. Guess we don't. Um, having a good double, good mechanic. Well, is nice. Yeah, just a starting dude, Satsur, who's also minor. What's it, sewer? You're relieved from mining. Yeah. You're a great miner, but mechanics are more important. Let's maybe set up another mining dwarf. Um, still some guys not named here, like you, your animal care trainer, Miller. Fisher, you're the siege operator. Sure, <laughs> I don't care about that. Uh, the other one, 
sure it'll also be a miner. I think we should have enough picks around. We bought like two um, caravans empty, so there will probably be some extra picks in that. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, that one, I guess, just, just anyone who asks for it, a job. Since so that'll just start the floodgates. Here's the problem. When I need a job that really needs something, like someone who's doing a job that uh, can do a thing. <laughs> oh, and I know I'll pick random people from chat. Um, okay, so what else needs doing? A cluster works will start up. Um, looks like the bridge is actually finished. Good. Let's hook up that lever. Uh, well, that will be done soon enough, I guess. Um, lavish meals need some rotten stuff. That's fine. Uh, that stockpile is working. <laughs> Looks like we have a ton of cages. Looks like we have a ton of ca animals in cages as well. Uh, what do we have? I think we need tea for that. No. Okay. A turkey hen cage. A stray water buffalo corpse cage. <laughs> stray cat. Stray ram. Another ram. And then a goat. Uh, maybe I should get those out of there? Maybe I should. Let's uh, undo a corner here. Um, build. How do you do that? You build the cages is the easiest thing, I think. Build them with J. Uh, then X to open. And find the cage. Oh, damn it. That's really a possibility, huh? Is there another way for that? I think I'd like the dump order. But the, how did that work? You, you dump, like, the tile. But then you use K on just the cage. So anything in the cage will be dumped. Uh, I don't know if that actually works with animals. I think it should work with the corpse, though. Uh, let's see what happens here for a second. Okay, the corpse got out. That's being dumped, and... Ooh, I need to pick that up after it's being dumped. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll stink up the place that is here. Reclaim that. Um, will you assign them to a pasture? That might be easier, yeah? Uh, what happened? Nothing. I just didn't bump balls, I guess. Okay, the corpse has moved out of the, the garbage dump. Garbage dump is a tiny little corner here, by the way. Um, I guess we'll do it in the pasture, indeed. Uh, these can just run out of my fortress, so... Okay, now we want to make a little pasture over here, and make it the pasture, uh, capital N. Um, then in the list, they'll, yeah, I have this, like, icon. Uh, you might need to tap a couple of times. That shows that they're in a cage. Damn it. Not just a turkey hand and a cat, sorry, in there. Or did the other words die, like, in the meanwhile? Uh, they're in the pen. I could release them from the pen. Are the others dead? They weren't dead a second ago, I think. No, oh, it is dead. It is dead. It is dead. Okay. <laughs> they are dead. I <laughs> left them in those cages for a long time, probably. 
So let's do the DVD thing. thing. Uh, I think we can do it from here. All the corpses out. Let's wait a second until all the corpses are here. Probably done by now. DBC this place. Yeah. And the corpses will be brought out to the normal places. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they probably starve to death in those cages. Those poor salts. Okay, and uh, looks like uh, Hylem is actually working on the clothes. Um, okay. Well, that's fine then. Um, okay, what else do you need to do? Mm. Set the noble rooms. Yeah, I kind of really want a new wave though for that. So we can set up some proper nobles. I uh, could fix the noble rooms though, there's still some problems here. Um, let's see. That. So this one on the left just needs an extra coffer. Uh, all of them need doors. This one will need an extra coffer. Ah, uh, fuck it. Why is this one all beds? Um, let's keep the top left one. Um, let's see, the one on the top has... That's like the, th the stand. That, that, that works. What's happening here? Oh, dude has been possessed. Oh dear. And he's claimed the Craftworks workshop. Will he begin his, his thing? I think he's getting items. The moment I go away from this, he'll come back and, cl and start his mysterious construction. And I'll zoom back onto this. He was in there for a second, he got some item. Let's go away for a second. No, you know, it's stupid. Um, so the top one works here. Um, needs chairs as well. Uh, let's see, no chair. All the new chairs. This one on the right needs to be made completely. Um, What's that? I guess a statue in the middle on the top. Uh, coffers, I guess here and here. An armor stand and a weapon rack. And uh, one down here needs a statue like that. Um, this level, top room is fine, left room is fine, bottom room could use a statue, uh, right room needs coffers, I place doors in here, right? Didn't I? Okay, that's the noble room set. Uh, how much beds do I have? A lot. How much doors do I have? Three. Need more doors. Oops. Removed something there. What did I remove? Probably the cloth bag thing. Uh, I don't know how much were left, so I'll say ten. Three we already. Okay, rock door, 33, rock door, 33, rock door, 33, let's prioritize one of them. 
Okay. <laughs> not another artifact millstone. Uh, have you started doing your job yet? Oh dear. Uh, oh boy. Cathedrat. Uh, did I miss the start? He has begun his mysterious construction. Okay. <laughs> Thought he was still missing art things for a second, but uh, he's you're doing fine though, dude. You won't go mad. I hope. <laughs> um, okay, let's wait until I have some more doors done before I set up some more bedrooms. They like doors in their bedrooms, bed dwarves. Um, okay. Uh, how about the bridge? Has that been done? No. I'd like you to do the lever now. I uh, can't do that. Uh, someone said something about the dwarf doing the mechanics. Actually... Doing pump operating? Yeah. Yeah, it's furnace operating. And weapon speeding. Should probably also take a look at all my... Smiths again. Uh, let's have you do the metal crafting. Hope you're not in the military. Why should you current job X? Just no job. That's fine. Uh, you can't do that on the side though. Let's have you two do blacksmithing. You're the two, uh, you two are the armors. Uh, that's fine. Okay, that's Smith's setup. Okay. Back to door fort. Oh, here we go. It's not an artifact millstone, it's a hematite toy axe. It's at least made of iron. Let's take a look at what you made, though, dude. It's Kadidrath, the goal of treasures, a hematite toy axe. It's iron ore toy axe. Let's see. It's a. Uh, this is a hammer, the Kadidrath, the goal of treasures, Hammertide Toy Axe. It's a Hammertide Toy Axe, it's craft workshop, craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with oak and is circled with bands of cushion, good sunstone cabochons. This object menaces with spikes of Hammertide and Galena. On the item is an image of the dwarves in turkey bone. Wow. The dwarves are traveling. The artwork relates to the foundations of hammer praised by the worshipful saber of the arena of sanctuaries in the early spring of 125. On the image is an image of snowed up crossed hate the elf and take the rust split, split the giant leopard in turkey bone. You've been busy with turkey bone. <laughs> take the rust split is striking down snowed up crossed hate. The artwork relates to the killing of the elf. Hey, by the giant leopard in the jungle of violence in 69. That's uh, that's a good kid's toy. <laughs> a very good kid's toy. That's an elf being eaten by a giant leopard. <laughs> yeah, that is fucking awesome. That is pretty fucking amazing. Good job, though, dude. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, so it looks like we're kind of running out of obsidian. Mm. Not getting fixed. Hmm, like this level. This is still obsidian, right? Uh, yeah. Let's do this with the highest priority because it's not that important at all. This is the furniture stockpile, right? Or is this the rest of the. Yeah, it's a furniture stockpile. We can make a giant one. Um, one, two, three. Fuck it, four. Priority seven. Two, three, four. Way too big. The priority seven, it, it'll go after all other mining jobs. And Looks like they're done with all the other mining jobs, apparently. Huh. Um. Okay, outside here. Oh, yeah. Um. Kinda want to build, like, 
fancy big wall here. Uh, that's some problems though. Mm, yeah. Kinda of running out of obsidian blocks as well. We'll need a floor there. I'll make that in logs for now. We'll need a floor there. Uh, actually, here as well. Make that. How about these cage traps? But we need more mechanics. And uh, also, we can DZ with a much higher priority. And these sides. Cave-ins don't happen anymore since like the switch to 3D. As long as there is like one tile supporting the roof, uh, it will not cave in. So uh, don't worry about that. Blank. It will be break broken. <laughs> Come on, build these things. Put another tile down there. Yeah. Now we de end things, remove constructions. Hope the guy who breaks his construction doesn't stand on the tile because then he's dead. <laughs> okay, he doesn't. Good, 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 good. Or someone goes back on that tile? Oh boy. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, I could do a DBC. Oh god, there. Oh, there's a million arrows, yeah. Uh, let's do DBC, like a big area, like from here to here, a couple of levels down. Uh, there's more stuff. Mm, oh, let's get another channel window back. Yes, rule those tiles. Come on. I think I had a plan to just make a wall here to make it more fancy. Um, there as well.
Okay, BC wall. No, without any cancellations, this should work. Although we don't have enough fucking obsidian blocks anymore. And give hmm. a new order for obsidian block. Hmm. Can't do an order for that. Do we still have like waters here? Yes, we do. Um. Do the task now will repeat. The stone blocks, huh? Can't just tell them to actually do that from obsidian. That's annoying. Also need another floor here. Uh, this is not important, I should be focusing on stuff on different things, I think. Well, making the mode magma ready will be nice. Material. Oh, like use the, the give a command on the from the stockpile that we were talking about earlier. It's probably not a bad idea actually, but there's not enough obsidian to go around at the moment. Well, that'll fix itself. Let's do that. This is an obsidian stone stockpile. Uh, we set it to just have obsidian. We're gonna. Make a give to all the workshops here. Like you, 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 um, mechanics also use stone. You and you. They all should take from only that workshop. And stone should be coming in from. Uh, just above here. We have enough wheelbarrows for that stuff. Wood wheelbarrow? Uh, we need to wait of them. Okay. So let's see it all used to use wheelbarrows and moving rocks without a wheelbarrow takes a long time. Yeah, it's, it's okay. They they should use only obsidian. That is fine. I just need some time to uh, have some more get in here. Uh, 